CKM start, let us go and carry out production startup of material ledger. We will enter our plant, remove test run and execute. This will allow us to create our material master in our new plant. Okay, so background job is scheduled which will go and carry out the startup of material ledger for our new plant. This is mandatory. Now let us go and extend our product to our plant. So the product I'm going to extend is EWM S401. As we discussed, we'll be extending this product to purchasing MRP 1, 2, 3, 4 and accounting views. So I have selected those views now. I will also select general plant storage 1 and 2 data. Plant PL23, storage location W23S. I'll copy the data from 7010 warehouse and storage location 171S. I'll just move across the views. I'll not change any data until unless it is mandatory. Let me change the storage location for production. It is W23S. Let me go and create the different views. Counting view. And here we can see the per unit price is 10 in USD, company code currency, and group currency. We will save this material master. After extending this product to a new plant, let us now go and extend this product to our warehouse. The transaction is slash n scwm mac1. We and we will enter this product ewm s401. Our warehouse is WH23. For creating this uh, product into our warehouse, we'll enter the warehouse and click on create. Property, unit of measure, additional cheat in EN, classification, and packaging data is grayed out and also storage data because all this data is maintained in ERP. We will now go and maintain warehouse specific data as per our data sheet. The preferred unit of measure is CAR. We will maintain the put away control indicator as YQ01. The storage section indicator as YS01. Let's now go to the storage type data and extend this product to storage type Y021. Enter storage type. I will now enter the minimum replenishment quantity as 2CAR, minimum quantity as 4 CAR and maximum quantity in the storage type for this product as 6 CAR. We need this quantities for a replenishment scenario. So I'm going to save this product. Similar product extension to our plant and warehouse is required for all the products which are there in our data sheet. Let us now go and extend one packaging material. To our new plant, we will pick up EWMS for PL00 packaging material. We will copy the same data from 1710 plant for this packaging material. The material type is VERP. We will select sales general plant data. We will enter our plant. In the organizational level, 
PL23 and we'll copy from land 1710. So this view extension is required for packaging material. So here we can see the packaging material type is YN01. This is same as the packaging material type uh, which is maintained for 1710 plant. So we'll save this material. Let us go and validate the whether the Dublin packaging data is maintained or not. Since this data is at client level, we can go and change them as required. The handling unit type is correctly maintained as YN01 as per our data sheet. Let us view the business partners that we are supposed to use. EWM17 SU01 is the vendor or supplier. You can see it is all it already exists in the system. I'm just ensuring the purchasing data is maintained for this supplier. I'm going into the change mode and since the purchase organization we are going to use this 1710 so it's already extended to that purchase organization you can see the order currency payment terms are maintained over here similarly we can check the other supplier as well now let us go and check one customer awm 17 cu 01 this is a domestic customer we will go and select the role sd customer and we can validate the data here at sales organization distribution channel and division level we we'll select our sales organization distribution channel and division let me go and change the delivery plant here for this business partner the delivery plant we will maintain it as our plant that we created PL23 and we will save the business partner delivery plant I am going to maintain for all other customers that I am supposed to use let us now go and create the bins using Pin structure transaction slash and SCWM LS10. All these are all the structures that are copied over from the template warehouse. I'm going to select one structure, create bin, click on create bins. So, system will now propose me with all the bins that are planned to be created using this bin structure so there are around 60 bins i'm going to create it do you want do you wish to create the bins i'll say yes so 60 bins are created using first sequence bin structure Similarly, I'll create bins for remaining 15 bin structures. Let me now go and create upload some storage bins. These are mostly the interim bins which uh, I have updated them in a CSV bin upload template. I'll upload that template in a CWM SBUP transaction. You can see these are the bins. These are the additional bins apart from 
the bins we created using bin structures and these are successfully created now after we create bins in EWM, we have to sort them to assign them to activity area since we have created several bins i am going to just execute bin sorting at warehouse level so that all the bins that are created are sorted you can see sorting is successful let us go and extend the condition record of the packaging specifications packaging specification one is for picking into a wire basket there is no product it is used to pick on packaging material wire basket and the HU type of this packaging material you can see YN00 as per the condition record for a supply chain unit and a packaging profile this packaging material will be proposed so we are going to extend it to our supply chain unit SCU WH23 and the same packaging profile YP01 and we will save the packaging specification and activate it let's do the same for all other packaging specifications packaging specification 2 is for picking on a pallet and the packaging material will be EWS4 PL00 this is used for opposing the pallet when the packaging profile is YP02 for supply chain unit SU1710 we are we are adding the condition records for our warehouse and same packaging profile YP02 we'll activate the changes after saving let's go to the third one it is used for picking on a container box the packaging material is EWMS4 STOCO NOO there is no product this is used when the packaging profile is YP03 we create a second version of this packaging specification we extend it to our supply chain unit SCU WS23 and packaging profile YP03 we save the condition record addition and we activate it go on to the fourth packaging specification specification is for picking on a crate this is for product EWMS4601 into packaging material EWMS4 PL00 the quantity is 192 per pallet and this is used based on condition type you can see this is used for production supply we extend the same packaging specification for our warehouse and same product and same production supply area so that we can test the same scenario for this product while supplying this product to production supply area PSA Y001 for our plant I'll save this packaging specification and activate it so all the packaging specifications are changed and activated let me go and create production supply area for our plan PL23 we maintain new entry production supply area PSA Y001 I'll maintain the description for the production supply area as production supply area storage location is W23S the MRP controller or responsible is 001 I'll save this production supply area now 
now let me go and replicate this production supply area to EWM the transaction is SCWM PSA underscore replicate I'll enter my warehouse number here WH23 I will execute this transaction by unchecking only EWM store location so system has proposed me production supply area and I have created that in EWM now next step we'll go and bin, assign bin to this production supply areas we'll enter our party interview dispose as bpws23 supply area that we created in previous step psa y001 slash pn23 let me select it from drop down product i'll keep it blank in this supply area storage bin is 061 psa 001 i'm assigning for all the single order parts so the staging method is single order staging and let me enter a minimum quantity and the replenishment quantity in the psa the unit is PL and the process type for staging is Y220 and for clearing the PSA it's Y325. So single order staging bin assignment is not product specific. Again I'll maintain the next bin assignment in the same production supply area but this time I'm going to assign it for product EWMS4601 bin 061PSA003.1 this is the bin I'm going to use and this product is going to be supplied in this PSA bin as crate part okay I'm going to say quantity calculation based on packaging specification because we have created packaging specification for this part quantity classification p number of containers 2 and minimum number of containers 2 i will save this entry i will go move on to the next entry Again, same part we will dispose BPWH23. Our supply area is also the same, same supply area. We are now going to maintain master data for product EWMS for 503. This product we are going to supply to this supply area into bin 061 PSA. 002.1 and the staging method I'm going to select for this product is cross order staging. Quantity type I'll say quantity based calculation, replacement quantity to minimum quantity in PSA to unit PL, staging process type. Y320 and to clear the PSA the process type I'm going to select it as Y325. I'll save this entry. Let us go and maintain the control cycle for this production supply area PSA Y001. Here I am going to maintain the staging indicator as 5 
which means need staging to be carried out in EWM and storage location as W23S. Let us go on to the next transaction and create resource group in our warehouse. We'll copy the resource groups which are created for template warehouse 1710. Same resource group, I will create new entries and paste them and save them for my warehouse. Next transaction is slash n scwm qscq. Here I'm going to maintain the queue sequences for my resource group. Let me copy the same queue sequence which I have maintained for the template warehouse. I'll open a new transaction warehouse 1710. I'll copy all the resource group and queue assignment from 1710 into WH23. So why all resource group is assigned to all the queues? There are around 56 queues in this template model company warehouse. There are some resource group for special scenarios like YCNT for physical inventory count. I'm just going to maintain all the resource group and the queue assignment as they are maintained for warehouse 1710. This is my last group of entries copied and pasted. Let me delete this unwanted entry and let me save this queue sequence assignment to the source group. Let us now go and create resources. I'll copy the same resources and their resource type resource group presentation device from era 1710 into a new warehouse WH23. New entries. I'll paste the resource resource type and resource group. Also default presentation device. Same as 1710. And I will save these entries now. Delete the unwanted entry created after copy. Next transaction, let me create user settings for RF. Here I'm going to enter the user ID I'm going to use for my testing. Personalization profile star star and warehouse WH23. Let me save this setting for my user ID. Next transaction is to assign staging area and do determination for inbound process. So I'm going to assign the staging areas and doors based on the process type. So there are four process type. For them I have assigned the staging area, group staging area and staging bay. And for some process type, I also send the warehouse door.
let me go and maintain the staging area and do determination for outbound as well here i am going to maintain it based on root and process type so for root tr0001 and process type y214 i will assign staging area group y920 staging area as y01 and staging bay giyd01 these are dedicated staging areas and doors for root tro001 same way we are going to maintain staging areas and do determination for root tro002 and process type y214 I will save this determination entry. Now let me maintain the access sequence in which this staging area and do determination is to be carried out. So here for uh, inbound. I'm going to say the determination should be based on the ROS process type and in outbound, the determination should be based on root and the ROS process type. I'll save my entries. Next setting is assignment of bins to door these are my six doors and i'm going to assign them bins in storage type y930 which is a storage type created with roll doors save my setting next setting is creation of wave template warehouse wh23 i am going to create a wave template 104 description domestic root 01 release method automatic type y214 wave category y1 for this wave template let me now maintain the time attributes new entries i'll create option five options uh, with cutoff time of 6 8 10 12 and 1500 hours so each of these waves are getting com completed in two and a half hours let me delete this unwanted entry and delete it options for wave assignment let me move on to the next setting assigning tolerance to user for these tolerances are for posting physical inventory differences 
in activity area y011 i am going to assign myself tolerance group supervisor which has unlimited tolerance to post a tolerance group for recounting is counter in activity area y021 i am going to assign myself again tolerance group for posting and recounting let us now go and maintain the tolerance group for difference analyzer posting new entry my user id and i'll assign myself unlimited tolerance by assigning myself tolerance group of supervisor in the condition records in transaction slash and scwm gcmc we will first maintain condition record for wave template determination application is wme maintenance group is wme let us see what are the existing conditions maintained for the for a template where are 1710 we will also create similar condition records so the template is determined based on warehouse and root and for both my routes tr001 and tr0002 i am going to determine the same template wave template 104 which we created in our previous steps So now my outbound deliveries will be assigned to waves. Next condition record we will maintain for application PHU. This is for handling unit prints. Handling unit label printing condition type we are going to use is OHU1. Let us maintain similar condition record as they are maintained for pair of 1710. So, work center Y831, we will be assigning the form here. And the action definition or printing the handling unit labels. I will also assign the form and action definition for printing the shipping label and the HU content. We will also assign here the printer where this labels are supposed to be printed so action definition for shipping label let us now enter the last one for HU content HU step is initial or changed we will keep the HU step same as our template warehouse condition records we will enter the action definition and sequence number and save the condition record Let's now go on to the next condition record. The application is for 
production the application is dpp and this is for posting automatic good receipt and creating automatic warehouse tasks for production receipt in bond delivery here i'm going to maintain the action definition document type for my production receipt in bond delivery inbm production receipt goods movement bin gr prod and when it is initially created for warehouse wh23 good receipt will be automatically posted let me maintain the condition record for automatic creation of put away task condition type is odmw i will enter the action definition for creation of automatic task my document type is inb goods movement bin is gr prod change mode when the inbound delivery is changed then for warehouse wh23 the automatic task creation ppf will be triggered and put away tasks will be created automatically next condition record application is to find printer for physical inventory pi is the maintenance group let me select my condition type let me extend these condition records of my warehouse if warehouse is wh 23 pi active the physical inventory area is y011 the form to be used is slash scwm slash pi count underscore cnt underscore doc i've also maintained the printer where it is supposed to be printed the spool data and the action definition which is pi underscore count I have also entered determination indicator as one. Let me maintain similar settings for physical inventory area Y021, Y041, and Y042. form printer spool action and determination indicator for all the four physical inventory areas I will save my condition record. These were all the master data and settings required for executing the extractors and model company process in 1909 for SAP EWM. Thank you.